The Five Paragraph Essay with Crystal S. Smith and Ryan Cardozo. Teachers as early as elementary school start teaching their students how to write a five paragraph essay because that's the basic foundation for all the essays that you'll write throughout high school. In Comp 1, you need to learn how to build on that five paragraph model. But some of you missed the foundation when you should have received it, so it's hard to build on a foundation that you don't really have. So today, we're going to catch everyone up and make sure that everyone understands the basic foundation of a five paragraph essay. I'm Ryan Cardoza. I'm a fifth grader at Grand Intermediate School, and I'm going to teach you how to write a five paragraph essay. The topic Ryan will write about is what makes the DSI XL better than the DS. Yes. The thing that makes the DSI XL better than the normal DS is it's got a bigger screen, connects to the internet, takes pictures, and records sounds. The outline for a five paragraph essay is very simple. An introductory paragraph, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion. Now that Ryan has done some brainstorming, he can easily fill in the points that he'll talk about for each paragraph. He'll start on the outline with writing one point for each of the three body paragraphs. There we go. Bigger screen. Connects. Internet and records pictures. A thesis statement states exactly what you'll be talking about throughout the rest of the paper. A beginner level thesis statement might be as simple as answering the question directly, such as the DS is, sorry, the DSI XL is better than the DS. But in an effort to become more specific, teachers will teach students to list three specific things which will become the points for each body paragraph. So Ryan will now write a thesis statement and state each of the main points that he'll talk about in each body paragraph. The thesis should be the DS I is better than the DS because it has a bigger screen, connects to the internet, and records pictures and sounds. The thesis statement is the last sentence paragraph or introductory paragraph. But what do we write before that to have an entire introduction? I'm going to ask Ryan some questions to help him figure out some sentences to come before the thesis statement. So first, Ryan, what is a DS? A mobile game system. What makes it different than any other mobile game system like a Game Boy? Unlike the Game Boy, it folds up. Okay. Well, if we already had a DS, why did we need anything better? Why do we need a DSi? XL. Why do we need a DSi XL? Because then you can see better and get some more games without having to use game cards. Oh. All right. With a tiny bit of tweaking, the sentences that Ryan gave as answers to my questions can now become an introduction to his paper. Remember, the last sentence of the first paragraph is the thesis statement that he wrote on the outline. A DS is a mobile game system. Unlike the Game Boy, it folds up the DS. Need to be improved so that 
Gamers can see better and get more games without having to use game cards. The DSi XL is better than the DS because it has a bigger screen, connects to the internet, and records pictures and sounds. The three middle paragraphs of this five paragraph essay are called the body. Ryan outlined the three main points that he would cover in the three body paragraphs. I'm going to have him try to come up with what else that he'll say in one of the body paragraphs. Remember in the outline, one of the things that he mentioned that was better about the DSi Excel was that it had a bigger screen. So, Ryan, why is it, why is it better to have a bigger screen? Well, I can see better. Like, if... I miss something that's really, really small that's, and I'm right over here, and it's right over here, and I don't see it, I'll be able to find it easier. Okay, what's a game that you play on it? Lego Batman. So do you play Lego Batman better now with the bigger screen? Mm-hmm. Why? Because I can see better, and I can see more things than I did before. All right. It is better to have a bigger screen because a person can see better where someone would miss something on the DS because it was so small. He can see it in the DSi XL. A fun game to play on the DS is Lego Batman, but a person can play it better on the bigger screen because he can see more things better. To write a full five paragraph essay, Ryan would do this exact same activity with the other two topics for his uh, second and third points that he wrote on the outline. However, I'm not going to write him, make him write the entire five paragraph essay tonight. So this is an example of one of the body paragraphs. Now we'll talk about the conclusion. Now in the conclusion, we back up and look at all the parts that we've been talking about, see if we can figure out how it all fits together or what we've accomplished through writing the essay. So Ryan, if you back up and think about the screen, the internet, the pictures and sounds, what is some way that we could connect all of those? Well, they're more high tech, more advanced. Okay, well, how is it more advanced? Well, instead of, like, no internet, Smaller screen, and you can't have any pictures or record any ha sound, then it's pretty boring. So it's more exciting. Mm hmm. Excellent. The DSi XL is more high tech, more advanced than the DS. The DS has a small screen, no internet, and it can't have any pictures or record any sound. It is pretty boring. The DSi XL is more exciting. Ryan can now put together all of his ideas, type them up, and he has a great rough draft for a five paragraph essay. So remember, a five paragraph essay has an introduction, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion.